Hi guys from Barbara and welcome to my ketogenic channel. It's almost the 8th of March. So in Italy we celebrate the International Women's Day with all the women's achievement and we also receive a special flower called Mimosa. This one. Please let me know the name in English. I really didn't find it because flowers are many, many of them look similar, so help me. But Mimosa is also a name of a cake that we usually eat on that celebration. It's a delicious cake and today I will try to do it keto, still delicious and hopefully beautiful. So come with me to the kitchen and don't miss this recipe. I will show you the ingredients for the cake and later the ones that you will need for the filling but first it's a good idea to preheat our oven at 200 degrees celsius that are 400 degrees fahrenheit you will need one lemon zest so it's better to buy an organic one then six eggs and three tablespoons of sweetener i use a retritol and i highly recommend for this recipe the powdered one 300 grams of almond flour and finally a little butter if you use a silicone mold like mine or parchment paper if you use any other mold first step separate the six whites from the six yolks and add your sweetener to the yolks with the help of an electric mixer, whip both the whites and the sweet yolks until they will look like this. Then grate the lemon zest into the yolks. It will give a lot of flavor and your cake will be delicious. This is a very important ingredient. Try to grate just the yellow part because the white one underneath is too bitter. Now that everything is mixed together, we can add our 300 grams of almond flour. attention to the brand you are buying because you must always buy the ones that have the lowest carbs content and the highest fat so don't forget to read the label it's also time to add our egg whites and they will help you to mix the almond flour because they will make this mix more foamy and a little bit wet so it will help with the flour too For this job you cannot use an electric mixer because if you mix the egg whites with the electric mixer they will unwhip. So enjoy this handwork because your cake is almost ready. But don't forget to spread the butter into your silicone mold or to put the parchment paper into the plate that you will put in the oven because only in this way it will be easy to take the cake out when it will be ready. you have seen this is a very easy cake to prepare and you can shape or decorate it for any special occasion. This is the same cake that I prepare for Valentine's Day, but in that case it was smaller, so I used two thirds of the ingredients and of course he had a romantic heart shape. If you missed that video, you will find the link up here in the description below and at the end of this video. While our cake is baking for half an hour at 200 degrees Celsius, that are 400 Fahrenheit, we can prepare the filling. And for that, we will need 250 grams of whipped heavy cream, 250 grams of mascarpone cheese, and we must whip all together, mix everything 
with some vanilla seeds or extract and a spoon of powdered sweetener. For an extra touch, I highly recommend you also half lemon juice. Do you remember that for the cake we only grated the zest? So, with the rest of our lemon, another tablespoon of erythritol, and some water, we are going to prepare a liquid that will make our cake tender and full of flavor. This is an easy tip that can help you soften and make your cakes fresher for a longer time, because they will not dry. But as you know, time flies on YouTube cooking videos, so here is our cake and it's already baked and cold, so I'm very happy to show you how an Italian mimosa cake looks like. To make a true mimosa you should cut your cake horizontally in three layers and to do so you should use a long knife with a sharp blade. Put the top and the bottom layers aside. We will use them later, but now we will take care of the middle part of the cake that will become the topping. Eliminate all the edges because we don't want to have darker part. It's just an aesthetic tip and you can eat, of course, all the edges. They are delicious. And now cut this layer in little cubes, exactly like I'm doing, because they are supposed to remind you of the mimosa flower. Many people, to make it more similar to the flower, add some yellow eatable color to the cake mix, or they use powdered turmeric. I prefer to keep it simple and more natural, so my mimosa will be a lighter but super yummy cake. And now that all our cubes are ready, it's time to take care of the other two cakes layers, the bottom part and the top part, and we should cut the outside part of these two layers too, so we will not have any dark part on this cake. And they are eatable as I told you before, so please use them as breakfast, as a snack, because they are really delicious. Finally, it's time to assemble the cake on the serving plate, so choose a nice plate, a very womanly one, I choose this pink one with the pink paper and little dots, and it's time also to make this cake softer and even yummier by adding that liquid that we prepared before with lemon juice, water and erythritol. Then we will put on top the white filling that is made with whipped cream, mascarpone cheese, lemon and also a little bit of vanilla. So everything is delicious, we cannot go wrong with this cake. Repeat everything with the second layer, so the cake, then the sweet liquid and then the white filling, but this time the filling should go also on the sides because it should cover all the cake, the cake must look all white and you will understand soon why. I'm 
100% sure that you will do a better job than mine but this is an homemade cake so we are not looking for perfection As usual, I'm looking forward to receiving your mimosa cake pics. You can send them as a private message on my Instagram account that is called LCHF underscore Italian. But you will find me also with my name, Barbara Minati. I'm really looking forward to seeing your cakes. Yes, we are definitely far from perfection. And very, very close to a big disaster. I'm very happy that this cake didn't fall, but uh, I really <laughs> was uh, close to that. I sure, I'm sure that you did a better, better job. And this is the reason why the white filling should cover all the cake, because our cubes must stick to that. And as you can clearly see, it looks like a mimosa flower, more or less. <laughs> but I promise you that this cake is delicious. Please let me know if you have a special cake for the International Women Day. I'm really curious. And after the final greetings, I will bring you with me to the gym because my video, my final one, is dedicated to all the strong women in the world, both physically and psychologically. This is unbelievably yummy, so do this cake, I highly recommend that. I really hope you like today's recipe and you will consider subscribing to my channel. So we will meet here every Monday at 2 o'clock Italian time with another ketogenic video, but also on Wednesday with the same video in Spanish and on Friday in Italian. Thank you all and see you next week! Tell me